Mr. President, because of the pandemic nature of coronavirus, every country in the world is taking preventive measure. Because the wisdom is that prevention is better than cure. When we landed in South Africa, we were not allowed to leave the aircraft for a good 30 minutes. Officers of the Medical Corps of the South African Army came into the aircraft and screened everybody before we were allowed out of this uh, uh, aircraft. When I arrived yesterday at the Namdi Azikwe airport, there was no screening. All we were given is a sheet of paper to indicate that whether we were sick, whether we had been to one country or the other, and how we would be contacted in emergency. What are you contacting in emergency? How do you train me? How do you know whether I fall sick after I left the airport? So this is very frightening, Mr. President and the Secretary and Senators. Very frightening. And I think something has to be done to ensure that we do not give way to a situation which we will not be able to control. Today, every country in the world tries to ensure that if it has uh, coronavirus, it limits it to those that are affected, that it doesn't go beyond those that are affected. And if it doesn't, every country tries to ensure that it doesn't cross to its border. While the Federal Ministry of Health and the associated agencies may be doing their best, I think at the moment with this kind of explanation, this best is not good enough. And we shouldn't take anything for granted. We are a prideful nation, but when we pray, we should walk the prayer. We are not hoping, but we must be prepared. We must take all the necessary measures at our ports, airports, seaports, people who are coming back to Nigeria, especially uh, from areas that we have been identified to have this, in fact, should be screened. This is the least we can do. If someone is coming back from China, he should be quarantined, not self-isolation. should be quarantined for whether it is two weeks or four weeks. We have to protect the lives of Nigerians. So uh, our committee on public health, the, the chairman, Senator Otazi, you recall, came up with a motion which was very exhaustive on this. Uh, but I want to urge the committees on primary health care and health to engage with the Ministry of Federal Ministry of Health once again. We want to see every possible effort done at our airports, at our seaports, that people are screened when they ca come into our country. We, we, we are 200 million. It doesn't mean that we can afford to part with anybody. Every single life matters. With this, I want to thank you once again, Deputy Leader, for bringing this.